Thomas, after two years and almost three months, we're sitting here for a goodbye interview. For us, it is a little bit strange. How is it for you? Yeah, it's also strange. Um, uh, sitting here now, and, and as you mentioned, hey, it's the last time. It feels it feels strange, and it's a, it's a mixture, of course, of of on the one hand being proud what happened this time, or in, in during this time we we worked together. On the other hand, of course, I'm, I'm sad because uh, it was a great time. Um, but I'm I'm really happy that uh, and this is not normal in a life as a coach that I can really go out of the front door and say hey. We had great times and uh, more people are sad and uh, instead of being happy and, and you know normally as a coach uh, the end of a contract is different. Yeah, uh, Let's start with the end. Uh, why are you taking this step and what can you, ta can you tell about it? First of all you cannot plan anything in football and also there is not, not really a good moment for, for, for things like this but um, when, uh, when Bochum asked the first time I thought about okay um, it's an opportunity in the, in the first Bundesliga. It's a big challenge to keep this club, this traditional club, in the Bundesliga. And, and the more I thought about it, I thought, okay, it's, it's a challenge I really like to do. Um, this has nothing to do with Vitesse because I really enjoy it from the first day until the last day. Um, but uh, for me, it was clear this is a challenge I want to do. And, and this was the reason why I said, okay, uh, I want to go there. Yeah, let's go back to the beginning. Do you remember your first days as a head coach of Vitesse? With, with what expectations did you arrive here? Yeah, of course, I, I remember the first conversations with Johannes and then also the first days here. Everything was different because it was Corona time. Um, then the really long pre-season. Nobody had an idea if this is working or not. Uh, and then after a really long pre-season, uh, we started at Akase with a 1-0 with a win. Usama Dafalu, thank for that, Uzi, and and this was the start of a, of a perfect season, of yeah. course. D do you remember that game? How was it to sit for the first time on the bench as the head coach of Vitesse? Uh, I remember that I didn't sit. I was standing the whole time. Um, it was it was strange, and also uh, honestly, I didn't feel perfectly. And two days later, I get the information that I had Corona, and and I was out for the second game. Yeah, but it's always something special if you stand outside the first official match with the club and um, we did not our best game but we we won this game and it's always important to to start uh, the season with a win and and therefore i have only good memories about that game yeah let's rewind a little bit looking back to the whole first season could not have been much better than it went with the fourth place and the place in the cup final yeah it always always uh, can go better but uh, looking back uh, in, in total we played a great season um, so place four for Vitesse is always something totally special in combination with a cup final unfortunately a strange cup final in, in an amazing stadium in the cup without supporters so this is a on the one hand it, it was a, a great success to be there in the cup final and we were close to uh, then the red card of Jakob Rasmussen and then in the extra time, more or less, the, the goal, and we, we lost the final. Um, but in combination, uh, looking at both, it was an outstanding season. Um, the end was, was a fight. When I, when I look back at the game at Fortuna, uh, so it was also because of the result of Feyenoord, but we did it. And if you, if you are on the fourth place and play the cup final as a club like Vitesse, then definitely it was a great season. And I, I remember in this season, often somebody of the press came, hey, do you know that it's about this record now, about this record or that record? So I think we, we put the, the level higher and beat a lot of records. And we had a party on Papano. Yeah, it was a nice party. Also, still Corona times, uh, but the, to see the supporters here, how everybody was uh, to go to Europe together, this was, uh, this was something special and uh, I will never forget this moment. Yeah, talking about Europe, the second season, it was also unforgettable. Uh, how was it like to experience that season? Yeah, um, everybody was curious what will happen in Europe. Uh, also, for us, it was a challenge to, to deal with the situation, to play a lot of games. And uh, it started with Dundalk home. Ah, not an easy game. Everybody expected Dundalk, you have to shoot out of the stadium. Uh, with, a, with the goal of Luis Openda, we draw it. And then away uh, we went through with a hot, with a really tough game, I have to say. And then with Anderlecht, 
Um, we went to the group stage. Uh, I remember also we, we sit together with the draw of the group stage of uh, poof, two of the best teams in, in our group. And then the, the whole story until the end uh, against the, the later winner, uh, AS Roma, it was absolutely outstanding. But also what, what happened uh, also in the Eredivisie. Um, of course, it was not the same level. But in, in general, we were in position six. We won against Utrecht. And, and then we have to accept that I, I said was better um, at the end than us. But in total, and especially Europe, uh, also the second year was something special. And yeah, it was the biggest success in the international history uh, of the club. And I'm really proud uh, that I was part of it. Yeah, how many times have you thought about that one evening in Rome? Yeah, often, often. Honestly, this was also the the moment I was totally empty for two days um, because I was on the one hand really proud what we did we we had them we we were really close to come to the quarterfinal and uh, yeah but this is football on this level uh, at the end a, a late goal and we were out and uh, yeah finally everybody can say you did a good job but we were not able to to win this game but definitely this was uh, one of the highlights of the season. This game against the absolutely top team who at the end won this competition. And um, I think also at the home game we lost, but we, we all, in my opinion, we were the better team. So um, yeah, the end was hard, but after a few weeks and, and then during the break, uh, I, when I look back, I, I'm really proud of the whole team and everybody around the club who was with us. Yeah, and did, did you spoke a lot of, uh, about it with each other? What we did is, is really special, um, something like that? No, not, n yeah, not really, because it, it, it went on and uh, we have to go on in the league. But you also could see that um, this is nothing what you can put away. So the, the whole season uh, was pushed a little bit by Europe and then you're out of Europe in a, in a way which was also unlucky and not really deserved. Uh, this took a few days. Uh, for some players, it went earlier. For some, it took longer. But uh, yeah, but finally, um, you have to go on. It w of course, we talked, we spoke to each other about the situation, and, and the more distance, the more we could enjoy. Yeah, one thing, or basically two things, we should not forget about last season: the win, the the, the the derbies that you won against NEC. Yeah, um, I want to add for Europe first, also Tottenham, Stadren, uh, Anderlecht and, and Rapid Vienna, absolutely highlights. Also the first trip to, to uh, Mura, but yeah, the derbies. Uh, so I, I had the chance to play two derbies. Um, it would be nice to have more, but they were in the second league, so um, it was not possible. But the two derbies were absolutely highlights. Uh, of course, I'm happy that nothing happened when the stands broke down. Um, this uh, I was really shocked for a short moment, but we we won both. Um, so I think also 100% uh, derby wins is also hopefully uh, a thing I would not forget, and hopefully everybody in the club not. Yeah, you stated that it's not the reason that you are leaving, uh, but the start of this season was was quite challenging for the club. Yeah, the the whole situation around the club. Uh, it started, of course, at the end of the last season. It was clear that a lot of players will leave the club and that we have to build up new and because of the situation with the, with the ownership of the club there was a lot of uh, it takes a long time to have clarity and, and therefore uh, the preseason was anything than easy but we always believed that we can make the turnaround it was late but but then the players came in but of course uh, in the beginning we had to we had to deal with a with a difficult situation and I always spoke about when we start playing against Groningen, then we start our preseason without having a preseason. And um, I'm convinced that, that now there is a real good team, but a young team, and it will take time. And, and um, for me, it was clear I want to work with this team. But again, things can change in football. And then this, uh, this offer came. And, um, but again, it was because this offer was something special for me, and I really like to do it, and, and not because of the situation here. Yeah, some of the best moments at Vitesse from you are already passed by. But what are the personal highlights for you at Vitesse? Can you maybe make a top three for us? When I look back yesterday, when we were outside 
with this um, uh, event with Vitesse a Getrofe. yeah this was unbelievable when I see this kind of, of, of community with with these people which are so happy when we when we do things with them then I have to say this is also a highlight we always talk about the big games but this is something really special and this I enjoyed and for me the the, the absolutely highlights are always the the also the to, to meet people and and I always say I come here, I leave the club, but I, I found a lot of new friends and, and these are more highlights than what happens on the pitch. But to come back to the pitch, um, yeah, Roma, to, to play on the, the last 60, the round of last 16 in Europe against the top team in our close, this was an absolutely highlight. Um, we spoke about the Tottenham games, uh, the stadium first time sold out against Tottenham. I heard Helene Fischer was the last time before that it was sold out. We made an amazing game, Maxi Wittig scored the goal and uh, we beat Tottenham Hotspurs, what is anything than normal for, for Vitesse. And the game away, pff, first game of Antonio Conte, a great atmosphere in the stadium, uh, we were 3-0 down, but the way we came back in this atmosphere against this team, this was outstanding. And yeah, if we talk about then, so 1-2 and 3. I would say a mixture of home game against RSC Anderlecht and also home game against Rapid Vienna, also international games where we, where we did it well. But if you ask for top 10, uh, we spoke about the Ajax game in the first season. We showed everybody in the league uh, that we have an idea how we want to play football and we had them close to, to win. Um, so it was, there were a few highlights. The Derbys we already mentioned, um, so it's difficult to talk about a uh, top three. Yeah, now the Vitesse book is closing. It's a book of history, we can say that. What feeling dominates you? Yeah, if I sit here now, then it's more um, being sad uh, that the story is or the book is closed. Uh, on the other hand, it was my decision because uh, and I also look forward, of course, now for the new challenge. and. Um, the thing is, in, in football, when I started here more than two years ago, then um, not everybody expected that I sit here in the third season. Uh, this is anything else than normal as a coach. The normal way a relationship between a coach and a club ends if he's sacked. And <coughs> therefore, I'm really thankful for, for a great time here uh, in the whole club. We, with the team, with the employees, with the whole staff, it, it was it was more than than having a good team, and I really enjoyed also the city of Arnhem, and uh, this will always be part of my life, and um, I, I will definitely come more often back to Arnhem and and follow the club, of course, but also the uh, it's always nice to be here. So um, yeah, it's always the same. You go with a with tears in the eyes, and on the other hand, with a smile, because it's always better to. Again, I have to use this metaphor to, to go out of the front door instead of the back door. Yeah. And when where one chapter closes, another one opens. L looking forward to taking over Vauvel Bochum in the Bundesliga. Yeah, well, um, it's clear if you are German and you follow, uh, starting as a kid, the, the Bundesliga, <coughs> then it's an honor to, to be one of the coaches there. And uh, the Vauvel Bochum is a a club full of tradition. He played most of the time in the Bundesliga. The <coughs> sorry, the last years, they were um, ten years in the second league. They came back. They did it well, and uh, to be part of this project, I'm I'm really proud of and happy. I will I will do everything to 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 keep the club in the Bundesliga because um, this would be something special, and and this is the clear goal. I know that it's not easy. But um, I'm convinced that this is more than possible and, and therefore I'm look I look forward. Last year you beat them 1-2. Yes, I, I remember. And um, it was an interesting game. We honestly, we didn't have the best preseason uh, in, in this, uh, this preseason when we played against them and the last game was against Bochum. We won 2-1. Uh, Richard Libazur scored. His first game in the preseason he played and Luis Openda scored uh, and it was also the start of a, of a good season. So um, I hope that we will have a, a f test match against each other in the, in the coming years. But uh, first, my job is clear. I want to keep them in the first Bundesliga and I'm convinced that we do this. Well, Thomas, I guess that uh, this is it. Do you have some final words for the club and its supporters? Yeah, again, I, I only can say thank you 
thank you to you guys here from the press to all employees to to my really amazing team the the whole two and a half years or a little bit less uh, to all employees uh, the trust from from the board side from Pascal from Benjamin and and Johannes before and of course for the big support from supporter side and and it was a, a pity that the the amazing first season that we had to play without supporters so I was really happy that the supporters could be part of the second year of the European campaign and um, I'm I enjoyed every moment so again hey thank you especially supporters it was a great time and hopefully I'm happy when I come back uh, any day to to Arnhem and hopefully uh, I I'm allowed to come back always welcome thank you <laughs>